Before we can get to work, Sean's sending me to Ace Hardware to pick up all the supplies. We have a few different options to prevent frozen pipes in all areas of your home, but we're gonna focus on the easiest solutions that also won't hurt your wallet. So Sean, we have our final project in our weatherproofing checklist. The next things we're gonna go over are really important for any homeowner, Ryan. We're gonna work on preventing frozen pipes and pipes that can burst and cause nasty, catastrophic floods in your house. Obviously, we don't need a lot of tools for this project. What are we gonna start with, though? Uh, let's start with the simplest form of pipe insulation. That's this uh, foam insulation here. And you can see that there's a split that's already preformed on this yep. piece of insulation here. And it's as simple as finding the pipe that needs insulation, determining the size of insulation that's needed, cutting to length, and it slips onto the pipe. And literally that took seconds. It did, it's super easy to do, it's very inexpensive. Once you put this on your pipes, you should never have to replace Good. it. All right, Sean, that was a simple solution, but now you have a little bit more complicated of a solution. That's right, but in some areas, like if you have a back porch or an unheated part of the basement or a water supply pipe, that needs a little more warmth than just the foam insulation. Okay, and that's where we have a heated gutter cable. And this particular cable plugs into a regular outlet um, I do recommend using a grounded outlet for this. Yeah. And there's a thermostat that's connected to this cable. And the thermostat gets placed on the pipe, and we're gonna go ahead and tape this cable onto this pipe. This thermostat is gonna read whether or not this is near freezing. And if it gets near freezing, this is gonna kick on, and it's gonna heat the pipe. So now that we have the thermostat in place, we're just gonna go ahead and wrap the heated cable around the pipe. Just wrap the cable with electrical tape to hold it in place. There's two other simple ways to help prevent frozen pipes in your house. One of them is to keep the water trickling if you have a night where it's getting really cold. It keeps the water and the pipes moving and makes it less susceptible to freezing. It's not gonna make me wanna get up and go to the bathroom every 10 minutes? That it might do, but it's gonna prevent frozen pipes. And then the next thing is uh, to prevent frozen pipes by your kitchen sink, uh, open up the cabinet doors. Remember, old homes don't have really good insulation. So on that exterior wall, if you have a kitchen sink, uh, those pipes could be susceptible to freezing. So by opening up your cabinet doors, you're letting heat get into there and just keep it a little toastier in there. All right, we have one more thing here on the workbench. So Ryan, the last thing I have is this little gadget here. It's just a faucet protector. It goes on a spigot outside in the gangway. Why don't we go out and put this on? Uh, all we're trying to do is make sure that this spigot doesn't freeze over during the winter time. And we're gonna use this little cap for it. We put the little gasket around the spigot. You pull the clamp, and now that dome is insulating that spigot. So really, that was it. You drug me out in the cold for this. I did, yeah. Luckily, we didn't have to freeze too long. That was easier than I thought and worth the added protection. So Sean, it's really just a couple solutions for what could be a very, very big problem. That's right. We're trying to keep water flowing through those pipes in the most extreme temperatures. And for just a few dollars, we could potentially save thousands of dollars in damage if it happens. And lots of headaches.